All right, so what I have here is a 1997 328i instrument cluster, and I am going to swap out my original one with this one that has a lower mileage on it because the, uh, the numbers on the, uh, the odometer on mine, only half of it show. So we're going ahead and put uh, uh, this one here in place of it. Now in order to do that, we have to swap out the, the uh, code plug. And the code plug is located here with the old one and the new one. And the one way you could do that is by pushing in the tab here and clipping it up. That releases the tab there that allows you to pull out the code plug. So then I'll be using my original code plug into here and then going through the process uh, and swapping that out to get the um, information from uh, my original code plug onto this one. This one has a lower mileage on it than mine and so it should work according to uh, many forms that I work read out there so we'll come back and check on this in just a little bit. So one of the things about this swap is uh, my original one has good um, screw holes up here and this one that I'm replacing has a chipped one so I'm going to swap the plates on these by pulling them apart so after you release the uh, the five screws in there then it becomes a matter of just pulling these two apart and then we'll swap the faces and I'll show you that in just one second so as you can see here as you pull it apart you have the back half and the front half and you probably see another forums on how to remove the uh, the um, gauges from here and put it into the other one well I don't know if I really need to do that but you can see this um, half circle clip on here what they do is these turn and once you turn them and get them out of the way then you could actually remove the face part so I am helping this spin a little bit here as you can see there and this one as well needs a little bit of effort or help now with those removed you can easily pull out the face see like I said I'll do that with this one as well so I can use this cover onto my old one and I'll be back with that in a minute okay so I swapped the front plate face plates and now I want to remove the old code plug and put it into uh, the new one that I want to be using now you can see here on the code plug there's a slot that you could um, push in and there we go. pop it up and you remove the code plug and pop it in the new one like so and now we will do the uh, reset on the uh, in the car and we'll come back with that okay so I swapped out my speedometer uh, with the lower mileage speedometer uh, that I got at the junkyard and when you turn it on you can see that my uh, mileage is there as reported on my code plug but you can see the uh, red um, the red indicator dot under the word miles that shows that uh, this has been tampered with. So now we're going to try and go through the programming in order to fix that and get rid of that um, um, dot. So I'll be right back. So I went through all the uh, the test functions of the uh, speedometer in, in order to reset it and got to uh, test um, 09 and then held the uh, reset button for four seconds there to clear out and overwrite the EEPROM. So when I 
put it in, you can see that the uh, red dot is now gone under the mileage portion of the um, of my speedometer. So, so we're good to go now. Swapping over uh, the uh, coating plug and uh, putting in a new um, speedometer, so makes it easier to read. All right.